next how people use or how people contribute to this whole contact this whole uh, marketing environment with personalized content how they actually contribute to this whole the, the idea of creating a commercial environment by actually creating their own online content a couple of, uh, of ways to do that there are blogs it's very easy many different organizations married many different websites and uh, and systems have blogs that people can go off and on a regular basis write uh, their perspective of products or services or how well this particular um, product has worked for them or any other thing political whatever they can write different types of information and ads can be placed there and a lot of internet users read these blogs they find people that they find interesting they want to understand they want to know what they say and they spend a lot of time interacting with these blog writers interacting in the sense of reading the information and perhaps commenting on things that are being said um, this empowers individuals to have opinions about products and services that is difficult for companies to overcome because they're perceived as independent reviewers and therefore not as biased as the companies. And so that's, uh, that's another thing that you have to take into account as you're developing your digital strategy. And then you have the wikis that are areas where people can add their own content. content. It's like uh, Wikipedia is the classic example, but there are actually many of these in different markets. Uh, a lot of times they're in like software development markets and technical markets where people that use various software products can add instructions on how to do it or examples of how things are done. Um, and they're very they're good knowledge exchange uh, uh, avenues as well. But once again, they can create a sense of what's where, where trends are going and what information is relevant and important that the individual company might not be able to overcome but at the same time with the right social media strategy you can influence what people are writing in blogs and wikis these are the influencers so you can influence them that can that can leverage your marketing strategy other things people use of course video sharing youtube we think of but there are others vimeo there are other um, video sharing kind of things. There's also um, podcasts and audio downloads and those kind of uh, things that people do as well. In fact, there's whole new channels that are developing and competition with cable television networks and the like. Um, and there can be advertising associated with these kinds of sharing, video sharing, photo sharing. Um, individuals are creating their own space where they share their perspectives in on the internet for others to observe and that influence environment again is something that companies can either can can be uh, can be a victim of if they goes against them or can be can favor them if they're able to influence these kinds of uh, media developments um, themselves but you can begin to see with all of this going on, any company that wants it, that has an internet presence or needs an internet presence, also needs many different eyes, understanding eyes and ears and fingers and clicks, whatever, understanding what people are saying about them, how they're saying it, what sorts of messages, and they call it sentiment, what kind of sentiment is out there about them? Is it positive or is it negative? And monitoring this and trying to counter it very quickly, if possible, um, as decisions are increasingly made by people's perspective as shaped by the digital world um, rather than the, the physical world. So all various kinds of challenges. Because of this, companies try to create what is called viral marketing, which is ways that messages that are out there that a company starts by creating a product or service then decides okay we're going to push that product out there but we don't want necessarily to push to all 300 million people in the united states we want to push it to 10 of them and they all push it to 10 and they all push it to 10 and it doesn't each and that it doesn't take long for it to be pushed very very far so that a lot of people know about the product or service and the important thing there again is because in that in viral marketing my connections are hearing it from me 
So they trust it a little bit more than they would trust it if it was coming from a company, um, let's just say from Amazon or uh, from Walmart. It's coming from me. This is a good product. People that trust me or know me would be more likely to absorb that and internalize it and pass it along to their colleagues who then trust them. And so you're able to get a broader uh, distribution and not just of who people who hear about it, but who hear about it and trust and believe the message that you're shooting out there. Um, I also mentioned the, the pot, and by the way, there's a whole area of marketing uh, that's about this viral marketing and how you create the kinds of messages that become viral. What does it take to do that? Um, how does people's minds work and memory work so that they hear something and want to repeat it? What sorts of messages are repeated? Which ones are not repeated? Which ones tend to move out quickly and to everyone and which ones tend not to go or actually people don't want to participate because it's it's been pushed out too far too often, if you will. And I mentioned podcasts where there can be an audio or video file which you can download and watch. It could be something about the product. It can be a, actually its own ser serial or something like that, that uh, uh, like NPR has these serials that you download uh, um, that, that people listen to one that was called Serial, which got uh, very good reviews. So again, more of this material out there are these different ways that um, living or activities in the digital world have tremendous influence on what we do here in the real world. Um, last one to mention here is virtual worlds. There are many different ones here uh, that have been out there for a while. One that was one of the first ones out there was called Second Life, which was another place that people can go. You have an avatar, you're out there running around um, doing things, and you actually have products and services that you can push while you're out there. This particular one, Second Life, they had like it would be an area where IBM, you can go out there and interact with people about IBM products and services. As if you were at a conference uh, with real products, and IBM had that place, and you could do that. But um, but in other things, other areas like this, and of course, one of the ways that we think about this is these large scale games that people live in, and you go and you interact with other people in the in those kinds of worlds, and you could have product placements there, and you know different kinds of uh, beverages or whatever that people purchase because they've actually used them in the games or they're aware of them because of some worlds that they've been in while they're. Uh, living their online digital lives, if you will. Um, again, this is not so far developed, but you can certainly imagine a situation where these kinds of virtual worlds in combination with all of these other products and in combination with technologies like drones that are out all over the world. So the virtual world could actually be providing you with real time visual images um, and you can float ads that are different for every player. You don't have to have a billboard if you're on one of the virtual worlds and I'm driving along. The billboard that I see doesn't have to have the same ad as the billboard that you see, even though we're side by side in the video world or in the virtual world, but we're on our own VCs in our in the real world. We could see different ads all directed at um, at my interests or at your interests or whatever. Lots of potential, lots of opportunity, and this is only the beginning. You think business is boring or everything has been done, not in this space. That's kind of the good news. There's lots of opportunities to uh, make, uh, to, to innovate and create very new ways of thinking and new ways of doing things. Before I push on a little bit, any questions on anything that we've developed or we've talked about so far this morning? All right, 